The Apostle Paul writes, should we keep on sinning so that God can show us more and more of his wonderful grace? Of course not. Since we have died to sin, how can we continue to live in it? Or have you forgotten that we were joined with Christ Jesus in baptism, we joined him in his death? For we died and were buried with Christ by baptism, and just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glorious power of the Father, now we also may live new lives. In these handful of verses from Romans chapter six, Paul shares that in the life of a genuine believer, there's evident change that happens. There's obedience to the Lord. Growth is experienced and it's a life that's marked by surrender. Change, obedience, growth, and surrender. You know, we live in a world that is ever so digital. Most of our wristwatches are digital or they're, they're smart watches, which is almost like having a, a personal assistant on your wrist with the ability to make a text, a phone call, check the weather, make a payment, or even use it as a boarding pass for a flight. But there was a time when a clock or a watch simply just told you the time or maybe the date. And they were merely an arrangement of gears and wheels and cogs on a wheel. Think of the cogs as the teeth on a gear or wheel that fit into an opposite notch to cause the motion of the wheel to work together. Well, there are certain dynamics in the life of a believer that work together like cogs of a wheel on a clock. Change, obedience, growth, Surrender. Maybe you're picking up on this little acronym of C-O-G-S. See, Paul says we no longer live under the bondage of sin. There's a change that happens in the life of a person when they become a Christian. And we begin to walk in obedience and surrender and ultimately growth. Like he says in verse 4 of chapter 6, as Christ was raised from the dead by the glorious power of the Father, now we also may live new lives. See, all too often we can be nervous or fearful of change, maybe hesitant to obey or struggle in our surrender or even growth in the Lord. But listen, I want to remind you today that these dynamics, change and obedience, growth and surrender, well, they work together in your life as a believer. They fit together like, like cogs on a wheel for you and I to experience the full life that Christ has for us. So if you're walking through change, being called to a place of fresh obedience or surrender, let me encourage you to embrace it. God may be using those things in your life to work together for your growth in Him.